Okay, guys. Now, this is one of the uh, past SPM uh, exam question where I want you to concentrate over here on two uh, concepts for inertia. This is for the application of inertia, guys. Eh? Now, if you look at the tank that we have over here, a tank must be subdivided. That means over here, you must have over here partition for the tank. Now, if you do not have a partition for the tank over here, there will be a problem when the lorry over here applies a sudden break or when the lorry over here uh, meets an accident. Now, technically over here, your tank over here, we see in this part, huh? the tank should be partition okay now the question is why the tank should be partitioned now the tank should be partitioned because number one we are going to sub divide the mass okay this is number one that's why over here you partition the tank because you're going to sub divide the mass all right now number two over here to reduce inertial impact okay now during a collision oh sudden emergency break that we have now the key word over here guys or the golden words over here is basically on the term subdivide the mass Okay, and the other keyword is to reduce inertial impact. Now, I want you to imagine this tank over here. It doesn't matter. It can be the petrol or it can be over here water. Now, over here, try to imagine if the tank over here is filled with water. Now, let's just say you did not partition over here the tank. Now, when you did not partition the tank and it's filled with water and the lorry is over here moving very fast and the lorry over here meets an accident or applies the brake, the entire mass of the water will just push the tank. And when it pushes the tank, basically the tank will go into the cabin and the driver inside here will die. So what we have to do is we partition the tank. When we partition the tank, we technically subdivide the mass. That means the mass will be little, little, little over here. Now, when we do that, we actually reduce the initial impact. That is what we are doing. Okay. Now, this is over here in terms of whether the tank should be partitioned or not. Now, the next thing over here is in terms of a structure that must be over here at the back of the cabin. Now, this is over here your structure. Okay. Now, students. There's something very important over here in physics, which I need to explain to you. Huh? Now, this is your steel structure. Okay. We explain over here, uh, the steel. Okay. Sorry. The steel structure. All right. Prevents. Okay. Over here, the, uh, for an example, if you're going to talk about uh, the, tank uh, the steel structure prevents the tank from over here we use the word crushing okay the cabin all right now the reason over here why the uh, tank over here can uh, crush the cabin it's because of the massive inertia of the tank all right guys now there is a very important word in physics that I need you over here to write. The word steel structure alone is not enough. Now, you must over here add the word over here, guys. Eh? Let me just uh, bring it a little bit so that you can see it. Eh? All right. Now, you must add the word over here. The strong. Okay, the word strong is very important. All right, guys. The strong steel structure prevents the tank from crushing the cabin. So the word strong is important. All right. This is one example over here you have for a pass SPM question for inertia. Now, I will post different examples over here 
in my YouTube page so that you can even have a better understanding for inertia. Uh, just stay, stu just stay tuned for these uh, questions over here. Thank you, guys.